Monsieur? The pleasure, I can assure you, is all mine. Monsieur. <laughs> I must apologize for my tardiness. It was next to impossible finding a carriage. Sink me. If everyone isn't so equal in your new society, that no one wants to do the drive-in anymore. <laughs> I take it, sir, that you do not approve of our new society. Approval, sir, in my opinion, demands the attainment of perfection. And in that sense, you rather overrate the charm of your society. Faith, for one thing, it does seem monstrous ill-dressed for any society, even a new one. Sink me, your tailors have betrayed you. Betrayed us? We pride ourselves on our French tailors. Odds fish, my dear fellow. Such shoddy workmanship would not be tolerated in London for one tiny instant. Look you here, sir, at this limp cravat. I ask you, or the sorry cut of this sleeve. No, no, no. Or the sad state of those cuffs. Sink me, I can hardly bring myself to look upon them. No, 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 sir. If this is the best your tailors can do, it would serve you better to send them to the guillotine. We shall send our king instead, sir, and exalt our tailors. More's the pity. Then your tailors will rule the land, and no one will make the clothes. So much for French fashion and French politics. What is it you Frenchies say? To Shay? You see, I'm a bit of a poet. And you did not know it, what? Well, this has been most amusing, Sir Percy. But if you'll excuse me, I have someone I must see inside. Marguerite, my dear. You really mustn't tease Chauvelin so recklessly. He's very powerful in the government. Already, he's Robespierre's most trusted agent. The only power that I can see at present, Mademoiselle, is the power of your beauty. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, Sir Percy. This beholder is enchanted. If I were to tell you that I adore you, would you have me do so? Stintingly. Adore me? Or would you have me declare it as I feel it? With all my heart. But you can't be serious. You know nothing about me. Exactly so. Which is why I yearn to know everything. You must tell me all about yourself. In every detail. But oh, so slowly. So very slowly. So that it takes a very, very long time. I don't know whether you're mad or... Desperately in love. It is all the same. Tell me if you can. That you do not feel it too. Citizen Robespierre. Thank you, Francois. <laughs> Chauvelin, this report informs me there may be an attempt to rescue members of the royal family, particularly the young Dauphin, heir to the throne. I shall see to it that security is tightened at once, citizen. And another thing. There is one enemy of the Republic in particular who continues to elude us, a man we consider more dangerous than all the others combined, the Scarlet Pimpernel. <laughs> With all due respect, citizen, the man has spared barely a handful from the guillotine, out of hundreds. Surely we overestimate his importance. On the contrary. Unchecked, his continued success could undermine the revolution itself. Undermine the revolution? By raising the hopes of those who are conspiring to overthrow the Republic and restore the monarchy. So you see, Chauvelin, while this meddlesome Englishman remains at large, he continues to be a menace. Needless to say, the man who brings him to justice will earn the gratitude of the nation. Not to mention a seat on the committee. He must be stopped, Chauvelin. I shall see to it at once, citizen. How is our young friend Armand Saint-Just settling in? A bit headstrong, perhaps. But I suspect he'll go far. <laughs> You 
You can inform your people that the Dauphin is to be held prisoner in the temple. Saint Cyr. Sir Percy Blakeney, Mansell. Please show him in a minute. Forgive me if I kept you waiting. Your note did say 11. I had a devil of a time. Finding a suitable basket. A suitable basket? Hmm. I thought a picnic. Percy! If you please. Sink me. Surely you recognize the most beautiful actress in France. A man would have to be blind not to recognize Mademoiselle Marguerite Saint Just. You there, make way. Let this carriage pass. made up with the Duc de Lyon. It has proved most elusive, citizen. A man of many disguises, but I now believe that there is only one way to catch him. How do you propose to find one Englishman among millions? By simple deduction, poor sir. This particular English